Okay, hello everyone everyone. For this morning, so uh, we are going to discuss uh, about the minimization problem. Okay, class, when you are going to minimize uh, okay, in terms of business, so we need to minimize the cost of our uh, business. Okay, in the ma maximization problem involving the linear uh, programming problem, so pag maximization problem, so it's all about the profit. Okay, you are going to maximize the profit. Okay, you need to get the higher income or the highest value of your problem. Okay, in the minimization problem, so it, uh, it talks about uh, how to minimize, okay, the cost of your business. Okay, so sa laktong na pagkaistorya, mara siya ugan ba? How to uh, get the lowest value of uh, the cost or mga galastuhon. Okay, so in the minimization, uh, minimization problem, okay, so the formula in the minimization problem, C equals A sub I X plus B sub I Y. Okay, called the objective function. Okay, that would be our objective function of the minimization problem. Okay, so, an ob uh, so yun, objective function is an expression, okay, which allow the relationship between the variables in the problem and the firm's goal. So, yan lang. So, wala siya kalayan. Pero lahi ang minimization. Okay? So, yun. There are two types of constraint, the structural and the non-negativity. Okay? The structural, so, uh, the problem given. And the uh, non-negativity it's all about uh, the value of our x okay the value of our x greater than or equal to 0 and the value of our y greater than or equal to y okay so that would be the negativity constraint okay so the feasible region okay the feasible solution of the uh, of the minimization problem okay so as you can see class uh, the feasible solution of the uh, the feasible area of the minimization problem is naa siya sa taas okay naa siya sa taas unlike in the maximization problem okay naa siya sa may deribanda sa may baba okay in the um, minimization so dito yung uh, feasible solution area niya okay so we need to get the feasible solution area so first let's grab the uh, linear inequalities involving the two variables then after that okay after graphing so just shade the feasible solution area of this of that of that graph okay so steps in linear programming graphical method okay first you need to graph the linear inequalities using the intercept rule okay just like uh, for example, let x equals to 0, let y equals to 0, that would be the intercept rule. Then after that, determine the feasible region. Shade. Okay, shade mo lang yung feasible area niya. Okay, number 2, determine the coordinates of the extreme point after shading that area. So you need to determine the coordinates of the extreme points. The extreme points. So don't forget to... Uh, to find the extreme point of the feasible region okay so let's go back in the picture or in the illustration so yan ito yung mga extreme point nya or the corner points sa bisaya pa kanto siya kanto corner points or the extreme point so we need to find that corner points number two step two number three after that getting the extreme point you need to substitute the coordinate of the extreme point or the ordered pairs of the extreme point. Okay? Just substitute in our objective function. If we are going to minimize problem, so, yun, the lowest um, or for minimization problem. Okay? So, we need to minimize class. Dili sa tanang panahon na nga. Mas okay nang manubra kaysa makulang. So, dili nga na, pwede, dili na siya pwede sa business. Nga, os, mas okay nang manubra kaysa makulang. So, we are going to minimize the cost. And, and also, we are going to maximize. Okay? Sa so example, number 2. So, involving the minimization problem. 
uh, a pharmacist uh, produces a drug from two ingredients. So each ingredient contains the same three antibiotics in different proportion. Okay, we have the antibiotic number one, the antibiotic number two, and the antibiotic number three. Okay, so the ingredient A, okay, need a uh, produced result 80 pesos. Okay, so 80 pesos daw yung ingredient A, and the ingredient B, 50 pesos. So ito na yung objective function natin. Yung 80, okay, for uh, ingredient A, and the 50 for ingredient B. So the production of the antibi uh, antibiotics is dependent on the ability availability of the limited resources okay because our resources are limited so wala unlimited ng resources pwera lang kung yuta na siya pero kanin siya is it's all about the product, production of the antibiotics so that means uh, limited resources so we are going to uh, mini uh, minimize the cost okay mahal man ang cost ang mga uh, ingredient natin yung antibiotic number 1 number 2 number 3 so ngayon is Okay, we need to find the minimum amount okay, of the cost of the ingredient A and, in the, and the ingredient B. So, yun. And the solution. So, in order to solve the problem, it is necessary to formulate first the standard form of, of the model. Okay, so step one, you need to represent the unknown in the problem or the variable of the problem. And let x be the quantity of the ingredient A. Okay, so yun. Uh, the ingredient A of our antibiotic. So, um, it means uh, denoted by x. And uh, let y be the quantity of the ingredient B. Yun. Okay, denoted by y. And the minimum requirement of the ingredient A and the ingredient B antibiotic number 1, we have... 6 units and the antibiotic number 2 4 units and the antibiotic number 3 12 units okay now class the cost of the ingredient A okay 80 pesos and the ingredient B 50 pesos okay so that would be the cost of the ingredient A and the ingredient B okay now we need to formulate the objective function. Okay, we need to formulate the objective function or the LP model. So, yun. Uh, from our uh, table, so let's uh, formulate the objective function. So, the antibiotic number one, okay, so this is the object, uh, the cons structural constraint. Okay, 3x plus y. Take note class, ha, if we are going to minimize, uh, the inequality sign is greater than or equal to. Yan. X dito plus, take note ha, walang negative dito because we are going to, uh, because meron tayong non-negativity constraint. Walang negative sa business. Kung mag-negative ang imong business class, ayaw na lang pag business. Yan. Walang negative. So that's why positive yan na negativity okay plus hmm. so greater than or equal sige so yan okay then uh, 3x plus y greater than or equal to 6 uh, for the antibiotic number 1 and x plus y greater than or equal to 4 for antibiotic number 2 and 2x plus 6y greater than or equal to 12 the antibiotic number 3 and x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 so that means so this is our uh, non-negativity constraint okay so now let's uh, grab let's grab the structural constraint okay from our table okay so class take note ha if you are going to grab uh, the, in, uh, the linear inequality Involving the two variables, okay. You need to rewrite, okay, from the inequality. So just rewrite into equation, okay. Just rewrite into equation, okay. 
So this is our three inequalities. So this is our three inequalities. So we take note, ha? The inequality greater than or equal to two, eh, uh, greater than or equal to, just rewrite into equation. Then after that, use the intercept rule. Okay, use the intercept rule. So that's why let x equals to zero and let y equals to zero. In order, in order to get the y intercept, so x equals to zero. Okay, just replace the x variable to zero. Three times zero plus y equals six, so y equals six na lang. Okay, that means zero and six. Let y equals to zero. Three x plus zero equals six. Divide both side by three. Okay, six divided by three. X equals to 2 and 0. Yan. So, this is our uh, graph for 3x plus y equals 6. Okay. Next. X plus y greater than or equal to 4. Okay. X plus y equals 4. So, let x equals 0. So, 0 plus y. So, x as uh, replaced by 0. Then, y equals 4, 0 and 4. Yan. So let y equals 0, x plus 0 equals 4 because y is uh, replaced by 0. So x equals 4, 4 and 0. So that means uh, 4 and 0 is ito yun. And graph the, the inequality x plus y. Oh, yan. Yan. Next is 2x plus 6y greater than or equal to 12. Okay, in order to get the x intercept and the y intercept, uh, use the intercept rule. Okay, so xy equals 12 divided by 6. 6 divided by 6, 1 na lang yan. And 12 divided by 6, 2. So that's why 0 and 2. Next, let y equals 0. 2x plus 6 times 0 equals 12. 6 times 0, 0 na yan. And 2x divided by 12. Both side by 12. Okay, divided by 2, both sides. So, 6 and 0, yan. Okay, that would be the graph of 2x plus 6y equals 12. Then, after that class, okay, so don't forget to apply the step 2. Okay, diba? Take note, ha? If we are going to minimize, ha? If we are going to minimize, class, we need to find the intersection of the uh, minim uh, minimization naman. So, ito yun. So, laktog niya pagka-istorya class, ang iyang kanto-kanto class na address sa may pinakataas. Okay? Ngayon naman, kung dari na class, dili na na siya mag-satisfy. Okay? Ayaw na dara. Ah. Okay? Kung imo na siyang i-substitute ang iyang value, dili na siya mag-satisfy. Mag-false na siya. False equation. So, kana lang akong circle. So, that means this is our uh, graph of our minimization problem. Yan. Shade mo lang yan. Uh, shade mo lang ng um, pwede lapis lang or uh, color. Ano lang? Or crayons ba? So, so, this is our feasible region. The shaded part of the three inequalities. The feasible region. Okay, so take note ha. Uh, that would be uh, that would be the feasible region of the minimization problem. Minimi minimization, minimization problem. If we are going to maximize, kung maximize na siya, dari na siya, oh. Ang iyang kwan, kung maximize, dari unta na siya. Then, ang problema na, ka na to karoon is, we are going to minimi uh, minimize, so that's would, that would be uh, the, the graphing of the minimization problem. Yan. So, may tabo siya is, dili na siya dari, ah. Okay hindi na pwede ok after that ok let's solve the extreme point or the intersection point of the three linear inequalities diba? so is, this is our extreme point class take note ha walang ok walang intersection point dito 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 so that would be uh, so it means if there is no in uh, there's no ordered pair so just apply 
the four methods the equivalent equation substitution eliminate elimination and the and the Kramer's rule method yon then after that so using the okay much better if you are going to use the elimination method so don't uh, don't try to use the Kramer's rule because class um, sayang ang time okay so do get man if you are going to use the Kramer's rule much better if you are going to use the substitution or elimination or equivalent ba okay so after that okay using the the first equation and the second equation ha ah. so ito yung first equation okay balik ta okay so so, so ito yung intersection nila di ba okay so using the first equation ito okay and the second equation ito hmm. class pwede po mo gamit mo og uh, Kramer's rule lang i just substitute the uh, just find the value of a b and c okay, a1 b1 and c1 a2 b2 and c2 okay so using the elimination method so yon 3x plus y equals 6x plus y equals 4 okay find the additive inverse yon cancel na yan negative 3 yan so negative 2y divided by negative 12 ito ha so, I divide both sides by negative 2. So, negative 6 divided by negative 2, y equals 3. And after that, y equals 3, just uh, replace the value of y equals 3 doon sa first equation natin. Yan. So, 3x plus 3 equals 6, transpose 3. So, 3x equals 6 minus 3. Then, 6 minus 3, 3. So, 3x divided by 3 both sides. So, that's why x equals 1. And, yung y natin is 3 so meron tayong y and 3 and after that the 3 and 1 naman ok 3 and 1 so yun j uh, just use the elimination method to find uh, to find the intersection point which is 3 and 1 ok so yun 2, two times x plus y equals 4 so we need to find the additive inverse Yan. Uh, pwede, uh, pwede lang na negative 1 times 2x so negative 2x negative 6y and negative 12 ok cancel out 2y plus minus 6y negative 4y then negative 12 8 divided by negative 12 ay minus 12 so negative 4 so divide both sides by negative 4 Yon, negative 4, that's why. Negative 4 divided by negative 4, 1. So, after that, okay, y equals negative uh, 1. Okay, so x plus y equals 4. x plus 1. Then, uh, transpose positive 1. So, 4 minus 1, x equals 3. So, that's why 3 and 1. Dara. Okay, so 3 and 1. The intersection point of the x plus y equals 4 and 2x plus 6y equals 12. Yan. Then after that, okay, so our uh, extreme point 0 and 6, 1 and 3, and 3 and 1, and 6 and 0. So that would be our extreme point. Okay, and copy the extreme point of our um, of our given and copy the objective function okay class we are going to minimize the cost so that's why you need to substitute the value of the extreme point okay to our uh, variables so just replace the value of x by 0 and the value of our y of our y just replace just replace 6 so do the operations so, 80 times 0, 0. 50 times 6, 300. 0 plus 300, 300. So, 80 times 6, 480. 50 times 0, 0 na yan. So, that's why 480. 80 times 180. Then, 50 times 3, 150. So, 80 plus 50, 230. And, 80 plus 3. 80 times 3, 240. Then, 50 times 150. 
So, 240 plus 50, 290. Class, so take them ta. We are going to minimize. Okay? So, we need to find, okay? You are required, okay, to find the minimum value or lowest value. So, the resulting part are, okay, the resulting part are 230, okay? Obtained the minimum value. So, 1 and 3. So, that means the extreme point 1 and 3. Obtain the minimum value, which is 230. So, the decision. So, we need to mix. Okay? We need to mix a 1 unit of the ingredient A and 3 units of the ingredient B. So, in order to minimize the cost. So, laktod nga pagka-istorya. Mag-mix daw tag 1 nga in, one unit ng ingredient A and 3 units of ingredient B. Okay? Para makatipid ta or to minimize the cost. So, muna ay mo nang istorya. Kaya di mo ta pwede class nga. Mag-mix ta og 6 ka ingredient B and 0 ka ingredient A. Kung gasto man tag 300. Okay, kung mag-mix po ta og 6 ka ingredient A and ingredient B kay 0, 480 atong magasto pesos. So, ang pinakabarato, so mag-mix lang tag isa ka ingredient A and tolo ka ingredient B. So, para makatipid ta sa cost. So, which is si 230 ang pinakabarato. So, yun. Then, after that, para mag-satisfy in our structural constraint, yung 3 in stru structural constraint, uh, the decision, so yung 3 and y, 3 and 1, x equals 1, and y equals 3, so c equals 130. So, yun. Replace mo yung mga uh, variable ng x, uh, 1 and 3. x equals 1, y equals 3. Diba 6 is greater than or equal to 6? Check. 4 is greater than or equal to 4? Check. And 20 greater than or equal to 12? Check. So, that means 1 and 3 is correct. So, since it satisfy all the constraint and the two constraint are minimized. So, that would be uh, the minimization problem. Okay? So, let's continue. The involving mix constraint. In, uh, okay? Lesson 1.4 na po. Uh, na tayo. Lesson 1.4, involving the mixed constraint. Okay, so, plus, in the mixed constraint, ha? Okay, so, the different of the mixed constraint in the maximization and minimization, yung mixed constraint natin is iba yung mga inequality symbol na. Okay? Different yung inequality symbol niya. But sa mixed constraint, it involves the equal sign, equal sign, the linear in uh, the inequality sign which is uh, greater than or equal to and less than or equal to 2 uh, equal to equal to 2 equal to so yan as you can see in the maximization maximis, uh, maximization involving mixed constraint diba the objective function so as you can see uh, the inequality symbol and diba naka mix siya so that means greater than or equal equal and less than or equal. Okay, class, take note, ha? In the mixed constraint, see, we, we don't need to shade the feasible region because, class, in the feasible, uh, the feasible region of the mixed constraint are lie, okay, are lie in our line segment. Okay? Sinong line segment, sir? Okay, so that means the line segment of this mixed constraint is ito. 2x plus 4y equals 20. So, that would be the line segment. Okay. It would be like in the 2x plus 4y equals 20. So, naadra ang iyahang feasible region. In the feasible segment of 2x plus 4y equals 20. Okay. So, let's grab. Okay. The three uh, structural constraint. Okay. Let's grab. Okay, class, as you can see, so this is the graphing of the structural constraint. The three structural constraint. So, ito yan. So, hindi sinong kung na-i-story yan, okay, para madali ta. So, ito yan. Class, di ba? If we are going to, uh, kung solid lang siya nga, less than or equal, or max ma maximization problem lang siya nga solid. Class, so ito lang yung feasible region niya, di ba? Kung 
uh, if the problem ah uh, if the problem are involves the minimization solid uh, the uh, less than or equal di ba minimization so ito yon di ba dara ah so class lahi siya okay lahi siya ang ato ang minimi ang ato ang mixed constraint ang iha is we need to find the feasible segment di ba ang ingon ako the feasible segment is uh, in the is the mixed constant yung equation lang yung may equal na sign yung equation or equalities so 2x plus 4y equals 20 so we need to find uh, the intersection point of this 2x plus 4y equals 20 so saan yung 2x plus 4y equals 20 so ito yung graphing nya ito ito yung green na line green line so the intersection of okay of the line segment 10 and 0 uh, 2x plus 4 x 20 so ito lang yun ba? okay so that would be the intersection point class so that means dyan dyan and ito is hindi nakasali okay ang kanyang uh, feasible region na 10 and 0 and ni 2x plus 4 x 20 is ito lang ito na line so yan na ang feasible segment niya or feasible region so wag uh, wag mo nang is shade okay so just a uh, level the feasible uh, the feasible segment okay so that means class okay so that means so let's find the intersection of the feasible segment okay so ito yan di ba unknown unknown ang kanyang intersection point so that that would be uh, that means so it would uh, apply the elimination method so first equation 3x plus 2 2y equals 18 then the second equation 2x plus 4 y equals 20 so using the elimination method so we're going to find the additive inverse then after that okay ito yan the y equals 3 okay multiply mo lang okay to get the additive inverse. So, y equals 3. No. Elimination method to. Sir, what if, sir, mo, okay, if I can use the uh, Kramer's rule, okay, walang problema. As long as, natama ang imuang solution. Okay, class, think na, pag mali lang, o isa ka solution, dari a, ah, mali, dyan na tanan yung answer. So, kung mahimo, class, basa, ang atong topic kay mat na dapat maging perfect ka sa mong pag-solve bawal jud ang mali so dili acceptable na uh, answer na mali kung solve dili siya pwede kaya mali kag solve mali jud na tanan di jud na siya pwede sa kuha nga mali ka so dapat tama ang mga solution okay so yun to get the x interest uh, x value naman okay use the elimination so 4 and 3 di ba so, the extreme point of the feasible segment is 10 and 0 and 4 and 3. Okay, 4 and 3. Yan. So, yun. Copy the inter extreme point or the corner point. So, 4 and 3 and 10 and 0. Okay. And the objective function, P equals 6x plus 4y. And substitute the 4 and 3 and 10 and 0 okay in our objective function so 6 times 4 plus 4 times 3 24 plus 12 equals 36 6 times 10 plus 4 times 0 60 plus 0 equals 60 class diba maximization yun so we are going to maximize so that would uh, that means maximize diba the highest value so the highest value of the extreme point so is Si 10 and 0. So, that means 10 and 0 yung sagot dun. Okay? Maximize. So, ito yun. So, 10 and 0 obtained 60. Diba? So, yun. The decision x equals 10, y equals 0, and p equals 60. Yan. Okay? Diba? Makaprofit siya og 60. So, in the minimization invol involving the mixed consent naman, if minimize siya, ha, class, 
uh, using the previous example ha. Okay, okay. Wala na change. Using the previous example lang. So, we will only change the objective function into minimization problem instead. Okay, minimize lang ang na-change class and the objective function. Di ba? Okay, objective function in the minimization problem. So, C. Di ba? Denoted by C. Yung minimization. Yung profit naman, ay yung maximization denoted by P. So, nag-change lang ang C class, ha? Okay, so, yun, na extreme point, wala yung ma-change. Mo lang, extreme point nang tayo ng 0. So, maximize, uh, minimization man siya class. So, that means, 4 and 3 ang kanyang lowest value. So, yun, 4 and 3 are the decision of the 3 structural constraint. Okay? To get the cost equals 36. Mo lang dyan na siya class. Diba? Kung istorya sa inyo, ha, nga dili sa tanang panahon, nga mas okay ng manobra kaysa makulang. Dili na siya pwede. So, dapat fix yun ang ato ang solution na ni. Fix yun. Bawal ang manobra kaysa makulang. Sige. Kay business man siya class. Sa so, muntag dinagko na nga business. Sige. And next naman is lesson 1.5. The special cases in linear, linear programming problem. The graphical method. Okay. So, special cases na po ito. Uh, example number 1. Mm, okay. Special cases. Graphical method to class ha. If special cases siya class, so, uh, the, uh, involving the graphical method. Okay, walang mixed constraint dito ha. Graphical method. Uh, iba't ibang uh, linear lin, uh, inequalities lang. Okay? Diba? Less than or equal, greater than or equal. So, mo lang dyan na ang iyang problem sa special cases linear programming problem involving the graphical method class take na tayo if the problem it involves the graphical method so we, we are going uh, we are required okay requ required to graph ha okay to graph kung nakainom do mo sa to ang gitawag o katugong test point diba tong test point so kung mag true equation siya okay kasala yung test point na 0 oh, zero and 0, di ba? Kung mag-true siya dun sa, atong, sa ating inequalities or sa ating linear inequalities. Kung mag-true, means you need to shade. Okay? Including the origin. If mag-false, so that that means yung hindi nakasali na uh, yung origin. So, yan na yun na sa graphical method. So, example number 1. Solve the linear programming problem. Maximize p equals 6x plus 4y and subject to constraint. Okay? 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 18 then x plus 2y greater than or equal to 10. Okay? So, x greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 class uh, non-negativity constraint. Okay? So, as you can see class, so this is our graphing of 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 18 and x plus 2y less than or a uh, greater than or equal to 18. Diba? So, kanang nga nang naaman rin ang yung feasible region. So, muna yung pangutanan sa kuha class. Class, bakit nandyan ang kanyang feasible region? Okay? Using, ha? Using the test point, ha? Test point. So, let's try to use the test point. So, 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 so, first equation ito. Okay? Great, uh, less than or equal to 18. 3 times 0, 0, diba? Plus 2 times 0, 0 na yun. It's greater than or equal to 18. Okay? So, ngayon, 0 is greater than or equal to 18, diba? Mag-false equation siya. So, that means, class 0 is equal to 18. So, yung 0 and 0 natin is hindi siya kasali sa graphing. Diba? Yung 0 and... Diba? False equation yan. So, that means 3x plus 2y greater than or uh, less than or equal to 18. So, that means yung graphing niya, okay, 3x plus 2y uh, less than or equal to 18 is ito.
Okay, tama na siya, no? Okay. True ito. True ha, hindi siya false equation. True yan. Okay. Tama, ano? Zero is less than or equal to 18. So, that means, yun, ito. Okay. Hindi siya false. True yan. Okay. Yan. Okay, class. Na negativity constraint, ha? Okay. So, na negativity. Yan. So, next naman, x plus 2y. x plus 2y greater than or equal to 10. So, 0 plus 2 times 0 greater than or equal to 10. So, 0 na greater than or equal to 10 plus. Diba, 0 is greater than or equal to 10 is false siya. Okay, diba, false equation yan. Okay, pag false equation, so it means, yung 0 and 0, yung origin natin is hindi kasali sa graphing. So that means, dito ang kanyang graphing. Diba? Okay. So, dito ang kanyang graphing. So, as you can see, class, okay, i-erase natin. Ako siya i-rewrite ba? Okay, pangit siya. Kung i-erase ha. So, di ba? False, it, ah, false equation ito. So, x plus 2y greater than or equal to 10 ito ha. 10. So, na-dry yung graphing class. Ako siya yung sabon na. Kasi dito ang kanyang graphing. Yung isa naman, di ba true yung 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 18? So, ang graphing niya, ah, dark lang, dark. Dito, di ba? class, take note ha, pag graphical method ganit class, pangitaon dyan na to ang iyang, okay, ang duha, okay, duha ka line nga mag, mag lie sila, silang duha dyan ang mga shade dan so, iyang, iyang feasible region ba diba? ang ilang feasible region nga mag lie silang duha, mag shade silang duha, is dara lang ah, ba diba? so, wak na ilabot, wak na ilabot wak po na siya ilabot, so, kanira dyan ang area So, that means class, okay, mag-intersect ka na yun ang ka feasible region. Pag i-line ni mo na siya, doha ka shaded part. So, that means that would be our feasible region. And then, after that, diba, meron na tayong extreme point 0 and 5 and 0 and 9. So, let's find this intersection point. So, using the elimination method, so we can, okay, or the interse uh, the Kramer's rule equivalent and the substitution, so you can find the extreme point. So, extreme point niya, okay, is for entry. Ito. So, for entry. So, ito yan. So, you just uh, just copy the extreme point. Oh, the three extreme point. 0 and 9, 0 and 5, and 4 and 3. And, the values of the objective function, just copy. Okay. So, 6 times 0, 0 plus 36 equals 36. 6 times 0 plus 4 times 5, 0 plus 2 equals 20. 6 times 4, 20, okay? Plus 4 times 3, 2. Ah, 12 ba yan? Okay. So, that means 36 yan. 20 ito. So, the formulate the decision. So, take note that we have two possible solutions, di ba? Past. So, we are going to maximize, di ba? Yung pinakamalaking value niya is si 36, silang duha. Okay, dalawa na extreme point, di ba? So, the decision class is we need to create, okay, x equals 6 and y equals 0 to obtain p equals 36. I know, no, hindi yan 6 and 0. 0 and 9 yan. Okay, 0 and 9. Okay? 
So, ang outcome niya is 36. And the alternative solution naman, for entry, okay, and the profit niya, 36 yan. Okay, so, dalawa ang iyang uh, extreme point or the decision. Or next. So, pwede lang doha. Wala problema na. Next naman, okay, class, uh, the special cases in the linear programming problem involve, uh, involving the infeasibility. So, pag infeasibility gani class, so it, it is a case where an, the linear programming model contains no feasible region and meron siyang feasible region no feasible solution pala hmm. walang solution even though all the constraint are being satisfied so that is there are no points which satisfy all the constraint meron siyang feasible region so but the problem here in our infeasibility there is no feasible solution um class pag walang feasible solution ha okay wala kang solve Walang decision. So, not all the uh, linear programming problem ha. Okay, there is no other uh, is a feasible solution. Not all. Okay. Okay, sometimes, okay, in the, uh, in the LP model, we have the infeasibility, the redundancy, and the unbounded solution. Okay, so let's, okay, let's, try to answer this. Di ba? Maximize P equals 2X plus Y. 3X plus 2Y less than or equal 18 and X is greater than or equal to 7. Di ba? As you can see, class, di ba? Sir, there is no intersection point. Di ba? There is no intersection point of the two structural constraints. So, that means, pag walang, uh, pag walang intersection point, so, walang feasible region. Ah, uh, feasible solution walang feasible solution so walang sagot mo na infeasibility sir pwede man siya mag-intersect sa may baba kaya naman tayo gitawag o kwan sir kung in, ako siya i-continue dila siya pwede because meron tayong structural con uh, non-negativity constraint bawal mag-lie siya sa negative in the quadrant 1 ay uh, in the quadrant 2 quadrant 3 in the quadrant 4 only in the quadrant 1 because meron tayong non-negativity. Uh, non Business kasi, no, walang negative. Mag-negative lang na kung nalugi ka. Well, it talks about the business, cost, and the, prada, uh, the profit. So, yun, walang negative. Okay, so after identifying the visible region of the linear programming problem, so, yun, there is no common area. Thus, there is no feasible solution. So, the LP model is an example of the infeasibility. Next naman is the redundancy. Plus, in the redundancy LP model, so there is a constraint which does not affect the feasible regions. So, di daw maapektuhan ang feasible regions. So, this is our uh, example of the redundancy. Plus, if yung, okay, if yung two structural constraint are forming, Okay, are forming parallel lines. So, that means, di ba? Parallel lines, inconsistent yan. There is no solution if the, pro uh, if the problem are parallel lines. There is no solution. So, that means, okay, uh, no solution. Okay, no feasible solution. So, if we delete the x plus y greater than or less than or equal to 9 constant does not affect the feasible region. Thus, this LP the linear programming model contains a redundant constraint. Okay? This would only mean that the constraint is not considered a limiting factor and may not be included in the LP model. So, wala na siya ilabot. Redundancy na siya, class. Pag kanin ganit yung makita, class. So, just write the the conclusion. Therefore, the two structural constraints are forming parallel lines. So, that means redundancy. So, not be included in the LP model or the linear programming model. Okay? Next naman is the unbounded solution. If the unbounded solution class, so this is a condition of the linear programming when the objective function of a linear programming problem can be made infinitely large without violating any of the constraint. Class, if you are graphing the LP model ha, nga naka-unbounded siya, 
Okay, so ha, uh, aso siya yung graph. So let's uh, let's have an example. Maximize p equals to x plus y, and the subject constraint x is greater than or equal to three, and y is greater than or equal to six. Take that ha, meron tayong non negativity. So ito yung graphing niya. Y is greater than or equal to six. Ito and x is greater than ay okay x greater than or equal to 3 class ito ang yung graphing niya di ba there is no okay there is no extreme point of the graph okay that means okay walang extreme point so ito lang yung uh, extreme point niya isa lang okay di ba so yung iba so wala na class pag ganyan gani unbounded yan what i solve ana ano man mura na siya og kanang mga investment kanang mga scam nga investment wala man tay gitawag og kanang infinity nga income wala infinity nga income ha? so yon so indefinitely large man siya pag mi kag indefinitely large unlimited siya ba okay so that means unlimited uh, income so the linear programming model in considered unbounded because the profit increases indefinitely which is not possible. Okay, walay walay income nga magsigig increase indefinitely, unlimited nga increase. Walay nga nang income plus. So that means unbounded yan. Okay? So, yun. Uh, and that would be all our uh, discussion for this morning class and don't forget to write your name in our comment section po for the attendance checking. Okay, so, and thank you po. Good morning.